So let's talk about the Lions here a little bit with you um, mm-hmm. on on a scale of one to Dan Campbell. How crazy mm-hmm. is your coach? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he's Dan Campbell. He's, he's all the way there. He hits it and, and surpasses right. it. He is. He is. He is. He is. And that's him on a daily. That's him in in our in our pregame speeches. You know, at after practices, that's him all the time. Well, because the one thing that I noticed right from the get go mm-hmm. uh, when you started playing is that the team never gave up. Mm-hmm. Never, right. never gave up. And, you know, those December games for a team that's not making the playoffs, Deion Sanders taught me a long time ago and Marshall Falk and all the other Hall of Famers I've been so fortunate to be around as a broadcaster would call them U-Haul games mm-hmm. where the U-Haul's backed up. You know, everybody's right. out. And, and the last thing anybody wants to do is be rehabbing an injury in January mm-hmm. when December right. games do not matter. But I did not see that at all for the Lions mm-hmm. this past year. Why? Why do you think? We enjoy playing for him. We enjoy playing for him. He's 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 the iconic players coach. He was a player, mm-hmm. so he understands what we go through uh, mentally, physically throughout the year. Um, so he understands, man. That sometimes you know your body's gonna hurt. You know, let 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 me give these guys a little break. You know, um, with in his situation, we're such a young team, so he has to play that you know play that fence kind of you know he has to work it a little bit. But, you know, for the most part, the guys understand that he's he's looking out for um, their best benefit. And, you know, when when you have a guy that looks out for you, you want to look out for him. So going all out, that's one thing. That's we, what we're about. You weren't on the team yet when he was hired, though, right? Did, did, or you were? were you uh, on the team I mean, I was a part of, like, the whole new revamp, you right. know, of the team. Well, so when only- he got hired, I was... Soon to be hired after that. That's so traded. That's what, so that's what I was about to ask about, mm-hmm. you know, how you might have taken in his opening mm-hmm. for a press conference about biting kneecaps and right. things like that. It was, a, it, was, it was a little, you know, out there, but I, I, I got what he meant. You know, I yes. got, and that's what you've seen from us this year is like, we're not going to give up. We don't care who you are. We understand that we are the Detroit Lions and everybody has a stigma about us. But we're changing and we're coming for you. And I love his his whole statement about welcome to Detroit because that's what we're all about. We have uh, hard knocks here this year, yes, so like I'm excited. This is my third time doing it, and um, I just want the, I just this is a good time to show the the, the people, the fans around the world what we what we're about. It's not all about you know um, you know the X's and O's, man. You get to see a lot of these coaches on this coaching staff that have played in this uh, this game. We also, you know, Aaron Glenn, you know, he's a phenomenal cornerback in the league. Yes. He's our defensive coordinator. You know, he, he has a lot of things that we do, old school type thing, up downs. We'll be doing up downs in training camp, stuff like that. So um, you'll see a lot of that uh, from our staff, and I'm excited for him. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.